Hello everyone and welcome to this short video overview of what's new in KS Vantage 2 Update 5. We added VR support using the OpenXR framework. We also added animated vegetation with procedural wind. We added support for rounded edges or corners. And we also added support for uh, animated objects partial visibility. We also added many other additions which improved the performance, the UX and UI. So let's have a look at the new features. Since VR is still a work in progress, it can be enabled from the tools menu and a new button will appear that allows you to control the different settings. We have monoscopic and stereoscopic rendering along with other optimization features. I have the Cosmos browser open and I'm going to navigate to the vegetation category. You can see many new assets that have indication that they will be animated in Vantage. Let's drag and drop one. And let's also enable transparency. All right. And to turn on the wind animation, let's enable this checkbox here. And we can adjust also the slider for the strength of the wind. Like this. All right. These trees and the models actually can be instanced using the cascader and I've done so in this example. So let's have a look at the whole animation. We have a couple of cameras in here, so let's play back the timeline. And here you'll see these objects fading in because we now support partial animated objects visibility. This can be done with the uh, properties, object properties in 3ds Max or the render stats material in Maya and allows this type of effects. If I scrub the timeline so the robot's arm is visible, I will adjust the camera a little bit, zoom in, and uh, let's have a look at the sharp edges here. I've done this intentionally so that we can show the rounded corners. And I have prepared a material that has the rounded corners, which smooths out the sharp edges. Let's use the clay mode to illustrate the round effect better. And let's keep the rounded material. All right. Let's have a look at the improvements to the editor. We expanded the outliner search functionality with some more filtering and sorting by different types like uh, creation mode names. So I can select the decal here. Oops, uh, yeah, here it is. I can move it around or search for something else or actually turn on and off some different categories. Uh, control click isolates this category. So yeah, many other functionalities added. Uh, and this functionality is also propagated in the camera lister as well and the lights lister too. All right. Now I'm going to preview the animation with the playback button and we see the result in real time because of the NVIDIA's DLSS denoiser. And we also added functionality to capture this output directly to file. This is really useful because it allows very quick generation of previsualizations. You can access this functionality from the tools menu over here. And in this case, Vantage will render out the preview even faster than the real time playback. When the file is generated, it will automatically be opened in the associated video player. And now let's see it with better quality. So these were the highlights in this update. Thank you for watching and take care.